How do you deal with a nested hierarchy of eyes? So for example, someone says, I want to eat that chocolate, but I don't want to want to eat that chocolate. So it's like they have different eyes, different selves. Mm -hmm. In your model, yes. how does that work? It happens in uh, every one of our minds. We can see this uh, in children, especially. Right, so children uh, cannot establish behaviors that integrate over long time spans. And I think the difference between these different eyes is the time span, the length of the games over which they integrate their rewards. So you right. have behaviors which integrate okay. over short time spans and those that integrate over long time spans. And the difficulty is not so much to find that integration and to implement it. The difficulty is mostly attention deficit. Sorry, meaning? Uh, if you uh, are unable to maintain uh, an intrinsic awareness on your long-term goals, then you are in trouble. If you are able to model the world uh, in deep time, uh, th that is the main difference between powers between uh, power between individuals and groups is whether you're able to model the world deeply and act on long-term plans. So, if we want to have civilization prolonged, then we should identify with the highest I in the nested hierarchy. We basically should act on extremely long-term plans, right? And we need to implement uh, incentives that allow us to act on such long-term plans. And uh, I think that, for instance, our present U.S. society has uh, foregone this organization. So the idea was here to basically remove structure. And as a uh, result, we have more freedom for innovation. And at a certain level, innovation is indistinguishable from cheating. And the U.S. is a society that basically cheats a lot on all levels. What do you mean that innovation is synonymous with cheating? It means that you play short games. Uh, it means that you try to take shortcuts. Instead of doing the right thing, you do something that creates a little bit more dirt here and uh, sludge and toxic waste, and you hope you are able to deal with it later. Well, you can innovate and build wind farms, no? You can innovate yes. productive technologies. So not all mm -hmm. innovation is cheating. In that sense. No, of course not. But uh, in some sense, the way in which you uh, I, uh, comprehend our role in society is to try to move upwards by innovating. And uh, a society that is well organized should not be focused on moving everybody upwards. It's mo about moving everybody inwards. Everybody should get, get better at what they're doing. We want to have, uh, in some sense, the goal is not to make uh, bread cheaper and more uh, abundant because the bread is already abundant. You want to make it better and more wholesome and more healthy. Instead, we uh, invent kinds of yeast that make the bread go up faster, but that give p uh, a whole generation uh, problems with digesting it, right? So uh, having uh, gluten intolerance is now uh, a widespread and ubiquitous phenomenon, despite uh, our civilization having been adapted to uh, uh, bread and yeast and wheat for a long time. It's because we changed the wheats faster than we could adapt to them. And the way that we would adapt to them would be by evolution, which means selection, which means technically all these kids with celiac disease and the people with um, mild gluten intolerance uh, should have less offspring. And then after a long time, uh, we have adapted to the new kinds of yeast. Is this a price that we are going to pay for having the bread uh, being a little bit cheaper? Probably not, right? And so uh, by saying we ch uh, allow bread like this, or even bread where we suspect that it works like this, this is cheating. Or uh, if you see, for instance, the uh, current increase of uh, disorders that are developmental, like... Um, Sorry, when you say cheating, you mean it's a net detriment to the society? It's basically where somebody knows that what they're doing is wrong if they take a, a long perspective. If you say, if you would believe in God, would God want you to do that? That is cheating, if, if, if this is what, uh, what God wouldn't want you to do. And what God wants you to do is to play a very, very long game, is to do the right thing to the best of your knowledge. And uh, doing a thing that uh, might work relatively well in the short term, but in the long term kills the bees or uh, uh, increases the prevalence of autism spectrum disorder because you put stuff in their foot that doesn't kill rats in three months, but disrupts their endocrinal signaling during developmental periods, right? This is what not what you should be doing. 